Where do you get all this info? Uh, Pan where do I get all this info? I've been following politics and writing about it. Here, okay. Where do I get all this info? This is a good time to lay down, um, lay down a couple of images that I put up here. Gang, take a look at this. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Here's an article that I wrote on my website. Let me grab the website. Boing. Let me grab the website. Da -da 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 um, oh, I got it here. What am I doing? Here's an article that I wrote on my previous website. Okay. Previous website in 2014. No idea. Previous website in 2014. Okay. Uh, this article was entitled uh, uh, those of you who've been here, you know, you know about this article. This article was entitled "Synopsis of Our Present Predicament: What the Future Holds a Final Word." All right, because this was going to be uh, my last strictly geopolitical stream, because I didn't want to talk about politics, and I'm going to tell you why. I explained in the last paragraph, second last paragraph of this article. Right. So in the mid 2000s, I started writing articles documenting this stuff because I knew the shit was going to hit the fan. Right. You could see it coming a mile away. You could see it coming a mile away because we allowed psychopaths to run amok, right? And then in 2016, because of the U.S. elections, people kept on saying, oh, Chicho, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? What do you think about the elections? Trump or Hillary, Trump or Hillary, Trump or Hillary, blah, 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 right? So I said, okay, God dang it, right? I'll put out another comment regarding the politics, and I don't want to do this anymore, right? Because I know where we're going. We're going into World War Three. build up to World War Three. Right? Do we have a? <laughs> no, we don't actually. We should get one. How many meows? I'll add it to Autobot. And I put out this video here that you see, and it's just some thoughts regarding the elections. And one of the things I mentioned in that video, or a video or two after this, was that the best thing that could happen in the United States regarding elections is that the two-party system split into a four-party system, where the Republicans split and the Democrats split. Right now, we're seeing the Democrats split with RFK Jr., right? The Republican can't split yet because Trump is too powerful, right? And the rhinos are, they're, they're going to become right dinosaurs right they're just going to go move on to the democratic party and the democratic party that's going to uh, hopefully attract a lot of people to the new party rfk's building right so we're in the process of seeing the united states split into four different parties fingers crossed hopefully more right because rfk has already come out regarding the middle east saying he you're going to fuck shit up too right too bad for him now in 2014, I wrote this article, right, because I was tired of documenting war. I'm not interested in documenting war. The only reason we're doing this is because we have to, right, because you guys want to look at it and we have to prepare ourselves. And there's a lot of awesome, awesome people, you guys, that I, I, we need to talk about this. We need to have a forum to talk about this, right? Lobo's back proves it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to find Nicholas. So in the second last paragraph of this article that I linked up to you guys, I said this, right? Since I have no desire to document the play-by-play -play symphony of carnage that is being unleashed and is to come, and since I have said what I needed to be what what needed to be said, or or as Aaron Dotty Roy would say, quote, I feel that I don't have anything direct to say without repeating myself, end quote, will consider this post to be the introduction to politics on Chicho, and it will be the last strictly geopolitical discussion we have on the site for quite some time, at least until Russia, China, Iran, or another formidable enemy of our choosing or making is duped into directly confronting NATO, or until the next major false flag operation sends the world into a frenzy. Okay. And this is the third website I've had. I had two other websites before this. The main one being, this was sort of taking some of the stuff I wrote from the previous website, consolidating it and putting it together and saying this. Okay, Just so you know. Because people ask me, where do I get this information? Because I, fucking, I read, right? I've, I've been following politics. I'm older than most of you, right? And I've been following politics since I was a teenager. I was following politics in high school 
when Israel was bombarding Lebanon, Beirut, right? In the 1980s, okay, I was forced into it because I was born in, as George Bush Jr. called it, uh, axis of evil countries. I came from Iran, came to Canada during time where Iran hostages were taken, and I watched the news, and it was called complete just bullshit. As, as a teenager, as someone who was like, someone who was like 12 years old, not even a teenager, preteen right knew that western media was lying to everybody about iran right that, that were watching the news in canada right so i just became politically aware i just became politically aware i had a friend in high school that i was irish right and we went to a track meet once and he was having a hard time sort of uh something that I went through in elementary school because <laughs> that's what was going on with Iran and he was having a hard time because the media in the West was demonizing the RRA right the RRA terrorist terrorist so he was like I can't believe IRA is not I go look man fuck corporate media in the West they're lying your friends don't know it I know it you know it your family knows it don't let propaganda destroy your life end of story okay so that's why so panic that's my answer to you how come I know and I don't know everything and I'm wrong on certain things and I get dates and countries and stuff mixed up but we this the reason we're talking about global map we have we haven't dug in into specific region like a bigger map and say this this because we're not interested in documenting the battles in war we want to see the grander picture the bigger picture of what's happening right we want to know what's going on in the world because what's going on in the world affects us right it's not the micro we're interested in we're interested in the macro the bigger picture right because that's the trend sort of we're doing trend analysis to a certain degree okay that's why and I enjoy following politics economics I played a lot of board war games and it's a passion that I have I rather keep my game war on a gaming table not in real life right not in real life right I love playing diplomacy because it's a fucking game I love playing Axis and allies because it's a fucking game what's going on here those people who rule over us think it's a game, right? Brzezinski comes out with a book, calls it the grand chessboard because him and his ilk thought and think it's a game, but it's not a game to us, right? We are not their fucking pawns. And for us to understand what the hell's going on in the world, we need to talk about this that's why censorship on censor took is so horrendous to me it's a crime against humanity okay i hope that answers your question panic and i'm gonna probably cut this out that way when people ask me why do i know because i'm not being uh, you know i'm not trying to downplay it it's just people keep on asking you have to know this stuff you i don't care how old you are you have to know this stuff dive into it you'll figure it out the more you dig in the more you'll figure it out 